all right everybody we got like two more chapters left i feel it i think i don't know but i feel like we do um so we are just gonna hop right into it uh i'm trying to remember what happened last time oh oh ryan cut off dylan's hand because dylan was trying to fix the cord because one of the werewolves or whatever was trying to get into the building or he was like running on a building and snatched the cord by accident and then like bit dylan as he was trying to fix the cord we shot nick and then laura came so that was laura she looked familiar but i wasn't sure because her forehead was real big um and she did not look like that initially and then we remembered that laura and max were the people on the list that were scratched off and then one of the hackett's the one of the hackett's daughter is chris hackett's daughter is there dead so uh why didn't you come where have you been for the past two months we did come one night early that was our mistake okay so they this happened after they came okay i don't know why it took so long for me to say that chris's daughter died <laughs> and that she killed clearly she killed them killed her i don't know if she killed anyone else Say something. Max! Hey. Come here. Come on. Get in there. Fucking do it. What? Obviously, I know Max turned because he got bitten. I didn't know he was alive. You goddamn kids. So, like, how did he not attack the cop? Done to Max. He's so rude. Shut up. You can't just shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. You think I'm gonna be nice to you? Eat shit, dude. Eat shit. When I say name, eh, fucks well. you give me your name. Do I make myself clear? You've got my license, can't you read? I am an officer of the law. I need you to do as you're told and answer the goddamned questions. Should I say I don't care? Like, why do I care? You've been mean the whole time. I don't know. I feel like the more the if I'm compliant, he'll be like nicer. I don't know, dude. Let me try to be compliant. Let me see. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. 
Well, ah, uh, why were you going to hack his quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were like way closer to the camp and we're broke. Mm -hmm. hmm. The shared badge doesn't mean a lot. We all we knew he was the sheriff. Didn't he introduce himself as the sheriff? Maybe not. Maybe I just maybe I just assumed he was a cop. He gives sheriff energy though. Sheriffs act like this. Seemingly. Um What am I gonna talk crap about his badge though? For her? Okay, Sheriff. Hack, Hack it. it. Wait. Hackett? Like, Chris Hackett? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? What? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Given... The fact that I've seen the events prior to this moment, I'm just gonna go with anything, cause yeah, I, there's no point in me being angry or mean to him. Please, you just stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. Come on, you have to have some compassion, bro. What? Look at his mouth. No, we're not gonna lash out. We're not gonna do that. That's not gonna help the situation. Let's go. Hey. Hey, you asshole. What tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! He did not care about her. Fuck. Screaming isn't gonna help. Are you okay? Let's be concerned, bro. Max! Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. Do people have a memory? After turning? Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? I was hoping you might know he wanted me to confess. There's nothing to confess, though, so, like... I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and...
Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? We don't need your permission. What? What are we... What? I'm just gonna say we don't need you. He's pissing me off. Because, like, there's no reason for you to be like that. I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. Look how big his eyes are, bro. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Is he gonna Come break on. his arms? Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey! Let's Get go. the fuck off! Come on. Move. Mm. Good boy. Like he's a dog or something. Hey! Stop struggling. Uh, nah, leave him alone, bro. Hey! Leave him alone! Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up! Fuck you! I said shut up! Hey! Hey, you can't treat us like this! You're hurting it! Hey! You can tell who got the balls in the relationship, though. Okay. Figuratively. Not literally. We both know okay. who got them literally. Think, Laura. Think. There's gotta be something in here you can use. <sighs> okay. So, he was... He's clearly unscathed. Period. I thought his... I thought he was gonna die. Like, I thought he was dead the whole time. Sis. Not a chance. I need some right. sort of lever. Okay, so this is this this moment. Whatever is about to happen in here is gonna be her character arc. Cause she uh she went straight straight Sasuke and never looked back. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues mm. his creeping. This isn't. paint a particularly particularly favorable picture of Sheriff Hackett and perhaps this isn't the first time he's locked someone up illegally yeah oh no definitely not Kaylee's dead however happy uh, they once were that's all changed now I feel like I read that already anything new boy Okay, so because I just want to look at the past real quick. Playing with fire. Oh, we already saw that. Pieces of silver. Saw that. Okay. Um, is there any other, anywhere else? Oh! Whole world. The world, sorry. Ah, the world. Often travelers' paths are direct. But sometimes it is not so simple. Sometimes they're intertwined with others. Compassion over anger. You'll never... Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know why I read that wrong. You'll need friends where you're going. It's not until we fall into the belly of the beast that we realize how perilous things can be. So, I feel like... This is gonna be, this is gonna have to do with, um, her meeting up with everybody else, the other uh, counselors. This has to be. You're gonna need friends, right? That's what they say. You're gonna need friends. I can't, like, look at anything else, right? I can't, like, touch the 
bars. I already read that. Oh, what's that? <laughs> that could work. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. Baby, she developed gingivitis over those days. Over that time of her being out, huh? Her gums look like they red and bleeding. Maybe it's just blood. Maybe it's just like the color, <laughs> color of her mouth. What was in there? Nothing? It, man, I bruise easily. Give me a break. Give them a break. What's wrong with you? Did he tell him? Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. We'll answer your questions. What that's supposed what yeah, what is that supposed to mean? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? supposed to mean asshole okay sir hey you can't just leave us in here hey come back well fuck wow max fuck. very filtered you know Son of a binky bunky, bro. Okay. How did it go? Are you okay? Yeah, let me be serious, Russ. Serious situation. Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He, uh, he just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. He look weird. He look different. Like his eyes just look creepy. Oh hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy Camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's. I mean. What? Some kind of setup. He's not acting like a kidnapper. Who's not acting like a Chris or the the detective? Cause it must be hot in there. Y'all see them heat waves on her face? Some kind of a setup. I don't think it was a setup. Because, like, he wanted everybody out. Chris wanted everybody out. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but... Oh, he's talking about the... He's not acting like Sheriff. a typical cop, either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? 
I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, bro. Don't be like that. This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. He didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well I just mean, accept you might it, stay right? Here, but I'm no, leave. fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking no. around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I... I was embarrassed. The, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Let's not be hard on him. That's like, that's hard. You know? I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. This man about to have the hardest life ever. He, he is not gonna ever be normal, bro. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... Nobody else around. That's true. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead... There's nobody there, and we get attacked by... Something. And then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like... Whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, mm -hmm. so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so... You know... Full moon. Yeah. What if... Uh... Okay. No. 
Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance mm -hmm. it was a werewolf. Are you out of your goddamn mind? <sighs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? <sighs> Werewolves? Seriously? What oh, the that fuck? Leg. What? 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 What's so funny? I, I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. Ryan. For him not to believe this and he listens to ghost stories, are you kidding me? Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Period. Whatever. Cry about it. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, then you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should. She looked badass, bro. I like this, Laura. I like this one. The old one I did not. I didn't like her. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot. As much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement. What happened to Max? We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. So, okay, so a full moon every month. So every night he never changed. He didn't really change. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. I feel like if we escape, he's just gonna be set loose and kill anybody else, you know what I mean? I'm gonna have to kill him eventually. So like, let's try the good side option. Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. Well, I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. 
And that's so stupid. Like, do y'all not have family that knows where you are? This is why people got to communicate. Because if you didn't tell anybody that you know that you went out here and nobody was able to contact you after a day of you, like, letting them know that you made it there, like, that's a problem. Uh, from what I saw, hold on, because in the tarot card thingies, was it justice? It was, I didn't see the justice one. The moon, how, how poignant, 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 I hate that word, tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. I feel like we should so I don't know if the cards, I don't think the cards particularly tell us what we should do, but they are things that help us make the right decisions. So in this, she basically sedates him. She sedates him. So yeah, we're going to have to, oh, no, 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 no. Not that one. Ugh. You're right. Escape's the only way. Hey, what's he gonna do to us that's any worse if we get caught, right? Let's just... not get caught. Deal? Yeah. Deal. This is, like, so risky. Okay. Here's how it's gonna go down. Next time he opens your cell to take you to get washed up, you jump him. You tackle him down, and... Take the keys from his belt, drag him into your cell, lock him in there, unlock my cell, and then we'll steal his car and just drive right the fuck out of Dodge. Right, okay, that's not really a plan though, you know? That's just kind of saying let's escape, but with a whole lot more words. No, he won't be expecting it. We're in a routine now, we'll catch him in the back foot. Fingers crossed. Careful. Really? Careful. Oh, Jesus. Ah, ah, ah. Really? I forgot. We trusted him to do that. Max, Max ain't got a tough bone in his body, bro. Genius. <laughs> but what about my shower? Shit. <sighs> I said... Take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Ah! Ow! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. T, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Mm, I'm not gonna call for help. Down to 20. Over. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not gonna be pretty. But don't worry, I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. But then she won't be able to sleep. I didn't call for help because they could be on his side. 
sounds weird, dude. feeling Max tell me exactly what you're feeling Laura I, I don't feel so good not good like how I don't know just bad come closer let me see your eyes I think I better stay back Max I need to observe you Fucking close enough for you, bitch! Wow. That was the calmest snap I've ever seen in my life. Max? Max? Tell me what's going on! Girl, shut up. Oh, she lost her eye. Oh, he is nasty looking. Character art, bro. Look at her little combat boots. Baby, she's. <laughs> she said no more. So much for depth perception. She's. I feel like that's gonna like. <sighs> Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. Is he still alive? He in there mad calm, bro. Is he alive? Oh. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, he didn't try to attack me again. Let's go back in here real quick. I can't do anything about that. Oh, go to sleep. No, don't go to sleep. Okay, let's let's look around for real, for real. Well, as long as he's in that cage, I am good. Please stay in there. Don't ever break out. Stop, you're scaring me, bro. Is there a card in here? I need a card, bro. Tell me what to do. Okay, I'm going over here. Terrifying. What's he hiding? OK. 
Okay. I just want to make sure there isn't a card hiding over here. Stop! You're scaring me, bro. The chariot. The chariot. At the range of the chariot, we would, felt, uh, we would all feel safer. Taking control or relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases foolish. Foolish. You may seek refuge in chariots, but perhaps in some cases they're not as safe as we think they are. Is she the chariot? I mean, she she only got one eye. Yeah, she's not that safe. She only got one eye. Okay, so that's one out of two that I just picked up. So, come up here. Oh, he is angry. You were so quiet until I like. Fuck. I'm gonna need to rest soon. No, you're fine. A ghost bed not pop out. That's all I know. Thing in here. A burnt badge? Is that a badge or? Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. Chart, yeah. This old sheriff's badge is badly fire damaged. Does this belong to the current ser sheriff or one of his predecessors? What caught on fire recently? Did anything catch on fire? I mean, the circus burned down. See, now I feel like he's, like this is like confirming that he was part of like the circus, that traveling show, you know? I feel like this is all just confirming it. You can tell that this place has not been touched by this is not an open you know we gotta find some toolies bro yep there we go this must be what he used to knock me out use the same needle I can hide yep. this in my cell. We don't need to be sterile. That goes against everything in me. Because I work with, like, animals. And, like, we have to change needles on anything. Anybody that works in healthcare knows that, you know, sterilization is necessary. Birthday beers. July 7th? That's his birthday. I need to lie down. Okay, I know. But, like, give me, like, two seconds, please. Don't pass out. We still have to get stuff. Like, the meds. How are you going to knock them out without meds, you know? Locked. Figures, but I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. Is that full, though? Like, that syringe? That's the exit, so, like, what is that? Oh, go up here. He is pissed. So it glows up, goes up in flames. Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. 
Mm. Oh, missing kitty. Missing puppy. Oh. What if they were eating? Do I have a lot of evidence? I do not. I don't have jack, jack crap. The previous sheriff was killed in a fire six years ago, and presumably this belonged to him. Travis must have su uh, succeeded him. Mm -mm. Yeah, radio though. What? Hello? Hang up. Hang up. I don't know who took what from you. I don't even know who you are. Put the phone back! Does somebody reach out and touch your ear, girl? What the hell? Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. July 7th, right? Day and month, but no year. Come on, Laura, think. Day and month, no year. What are you hiding, Travis? A letter instructing those behind the bizarre yet bona fide podcast to stop investigating Hackett's quarry. I don't like the way that just turned around like that. To bizarre yet bona fide, it has come to my attention that you recently released an episode of your podcast that features the town of North Kill and more specifically Hackett's Quarry. If I'm to understand the context correctly, said evidence investigates the mystery of a ghost in the woods. Though uh, the very idea of this is completely preposterous and as I'm sure you are aware, no such thing exists, I'm ready to tell you that the preposterous uh, the Proprietors of Hackett's Quarry has uh, expressed concerns that such unsavory stories could be uh, determinal to the various business avenues, including Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, which pr which prides itself on being safe, fun, environmental, and environmental for children. <laughs> that just I'm sorry, that just shook me a little bit. I don't like these noises. Um, all over the country, it is within it. Oh, I'm sorry, it is with this in mind that I ask you to take down this uh, episode of your podcast and refrain from releasing any further unsolicited publicity around Hackett's Quarry. The proprietors of said land would not be against seeking legal action if you do not comply with their request. Please accept this letter as a formal request with the benefit of both parties in mind. Respectfully yours, Travis Hackett, Sheriff, North Police Department, North Kill, Upstate New York. This is, this is Upstate New York, bro. They do give out New York energy, especially a cop. He ain't. Ha. Mama's boy. 56. That means he was born in 1965. Nineteen sixty five. Fuck yeah. I hope she took some painkillers, bro. Have you heard? You heard that? 
What? Weren't hikers at all, but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're, we're more like, um, ghost investigators. Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby boy. Oh God, please. I don't I don't want to do this right now. Uh oh. Oh God. Oh God. Oh my God, I have goosebumps, dude. All right, let's go. Laura and Max. Okay. Oh God. The fire of Harem Scarum six years ago took the lives of many, and it's rumored to have been arson. Hmm. I ain't that about a bitch. No, go. So that we can see the sunlight. I don't like being out of my cage, bro. I, I enjoy that. At least I know what's going on up in there, you know? Can I close the door? No, I never mind. Let me just go to sleep. Close your eyes. Nighty night. Go to your knees. Don't touch me. You want to tell me what happened? What's wrong with his face? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? We got unfinished business. No, be honest, girl. I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Shit. So you made yourself at home. That's what you used to knock me out with, isn't it? This is dangerous. Could you not have used that on Max last night? Maybe I'd still have two good eyes. Yes? Yes, but it's really fucking hard to do. So I missed my chance, bro. What did I do wrong? Like, I thought I was just gonna be able to, like, turn on him, you know? What's this? An education. Watch. Look at his little overalls. So cute. I mean, somehow I got out, cause. Nice job cleaning up. The eye, I mean. It's 
harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Oh, now he want to uh, be nice? Animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh. What? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. Mm. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. Come on, tell your story, bro. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Ew. Yeah. How is your family involved? I don't know about his family. So, yeah. how is your family involved? My family is down at the bottom of a well. Mm. What? Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope, how can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. If you pull on that rope, and you're just gonna fall right down at the bottom of the well with the rest of them. Mm. And what's the point of that? Right, so you... You're the one at the top of the well with a rope, and... Yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. It was. I don't Forget know why it. she questioned it. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Mm. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. Just keep reading, bro. You gotta know this. He's, I think he's trying to help. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, it has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. 
Why didn't you kill it? Am I infected? Well, he didn't bite you, so like, no. You're not infected. I wouldn't think you were. If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so, I'm, I, I was, when I- Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not, you... they're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you two. I don't believe you. I believe him. I just feel like the way he went about things was just not okay. So I'm going to be encouraging. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Give it chocolate. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. I'm kind of glad I didn't do anything to him. Seen enough? I wish they had a conscience. He could have helped us. I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... I hadn't seen that. I believe him. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. You turned into a werewolf yesterday. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our no, own. No, come on, Laura. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty yeah, bad. Yeah, it popped. Right out my head. I'm so sorry. It's not like you empathetic. Um, let's be empathetic. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. Mm. He said, let me in there. Correct. I know they're in there. Who? The counselor didn't show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. Fucking bet one of them, Chris. What's I supposed to do? Mm. What was that? Fuck. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. 
So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? That's crazy. I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother! God, it's so obvious! If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Gotta hunt him down. Tomorrow we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Oh, there we go. Laura? Laura, are you okay? God damn it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Travis, bro. What the hell's going on? Laura! Mm -mm. I gotta be quick with it, bro. Give me the keys. You don't have to do this. I'm sorry, but I do. Let's just talk about it. You had your chance to talk. Keys. You should have told me from the get-go, bro. Okay. Okay. Come on, I'm telling mom. Like, that was normal. Like, it was like... That's crazy. I never knew you had it in you. Yeah, you did. She had it in her every day. He didn't, you didn't have it in you. Shit. Laura, please think about what you're doing. Wait! You're not so tough. Why don't you take some time? Think about why you're in here. I feel bad. I do. But like... I'm sorry. We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Someone thinks he... No, I, I still can. It's coming from behind that door. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? It's the ghost, bro. He makes them. 
What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey, I just realized something. She's badass. Free. Oh, okay. Well, that too. Yep. Physically in out of prison, yes, but you are not free. You are hooked to the chains of the wolf. So No, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this tonight. Okay. You're not gonna bring that 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 uh, thermal with you. So like, are they gonna? I hope they let him out. Like after he can't be in there forever. Left Max at the island seemed like the best place for him. Surrounded. Left Max at the island seemed like the best place for him. Surrounded by water and all. That's it. That's the story. So Max killed, and almost I'll killed Emma. Jump in at the same time. Wait, the island? Like like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, Emma's still in the car. Jake got picked up by the hunters. They're probably fine. They're not there now. Let's be honest, they're not there. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But. Oh no, you're gonna have me play that part? Oh, I don't wanna play this part. Oh, the werewolves stress me out. The noises they make are serious. Oh, God. So she shot Chris. You have to kill the OG OG though, right? Max? Did she have to kill Max, bro? I think she did. Hold on. Let me get my hands ready, bro. I think she's gonna have to shoot him. Max? Hello? Hey, gotta get ready for the quick time, bro. Oh, 
Oh no, Max. Stay, just stay there. Oh no. Oh, thank God I didn't have to kill him, bro. Whew. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so... How come Max didn't kill you then? She got bit? Oh, she had bit in the leg, didn't she? He tried. I got away. I need to end this. All right. We don't have much time. Ryan? Smell good, don't I? Go on, take a bow. Go on. Ooh. Dumb fucking animal. Please, bro, don't piss him off. <laughs> please let me go. Okay, I didn't mean for this to happen. Please, please. Oh my God, why aren't you answering me? Oh, oh, oh. Is your is your money that you want? Cause, cause my dad's got money. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. I mean, not really, but you could get some, probably. Please, <laughs> just let me go, please. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Jesus! <laughs> That's too, Bobby. That's Nick over there. Oh, That's shit. Nick, dude. Oh, poor Jacob. those people okay okay nosy little rat aren't you poking your nose where it doesn't belong don't believe everything you hear anyway here we are again let's see what you've brought me this time shall we The chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant. But in some cases, foolish. 
Many seek refuge in chariots, but perhaps in some cases they're not as safe as we think they are. Ah, the world. <laughs> Often travelers' paths are direct, but sometimes it is not so simple. Sometimes they're intertwined with others. Compassion over anger. You'll need friends where you're going. It's not until we fall into the belly of the beast that we realize how perilous things can be. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you more? Yeah. Chariot or world? Only one future can be seen. Choose. I'm gonna choose world. Oh no. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course. Sheesh, man. Okay, we gotta stop it wherever. I'm gonna stop it here. We're gonna stop, we're gonna stop. <clears throat> All right, this video is long. Uh, this was a long chapter. This chapter was well over an hour long, but a lot has happened. So we just found out Chris is a werewolf. I guess um, Travis is a werewolf. I think, I don't know if he's like, well, no, because I think he's the human one. But the rest of his family are not human anymore. And he's trying to, like, figure out a way. That's why he was, like, saying there has to be another way. Because he need, he wants an alternate to what is actually going to happen. Um, Laura uses use these match to light campfire and wait until nightfall to hunt Chris. This explains the light, Caitlin. Oh, Okay, okay, okay. What else? Is there anything else? There's like so much. Counselor's Ledger. Laura and Max were kidnapped by Travis and Chris. Hold on, sorry. Laura and Max were kidnapped by Travis and Chris tries to hide it by reporting that they didn't show up for camp. That's so, that's so messed up. It makes total sense. Knowing he was on a time limit, Chris didn't want to risk the nurse being around when he turned into a werewolf. So Chris's intentions were not necessary out of malice, but he, I feel like they're just so lost in everything, you know? I mean, I'm sorry, Travis, bro, but like, there, there was no other way. There was no other way. Laura was supportive of Max during their imprisonment. <sighs> the white whale. Laura did not shoot Travis when escaping your cell. He doesn't deserve to die. But yeah, to anybody that sat through an hour long video, you are a trooper. I appreciate you. If you didn't, I still appreciate you and I respect that you did not. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, just leave a like. If you guys want to see more, subscribe. Um, I'll probably uh, be letting these out in scheduled days instead of like letting them out all at once um, as far as videos go. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.